Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use a valve core removal tool along with explaining its uses. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. In today's video we're going to go over valve core removal tools, how to use them and what they're used for. This specific tool is made by Yellow Jacket and it is a versatile four-in-one ball valve tool with a quarter inch side port. It is perfect for a vacuum valve, charge tool, core removal, and recovery valve. So pretty much when it comes to pulling a vacuum in a system, charging a system, or recovering, when you remove the pins, you're gonna speed up that process. My favorite part about this is that you can remove and replace Schrader valves without losing the charge of the system which really makes this a must have tool in your tool bag is for the fact that you can remove and replace Schrader valves without losing the charge. So the system can be fully charged and as we know, the most common leak is gonna be at that valve core, also known as your Schrader valve. So for the fact that you can use this tool and not have to recover refrigerant and go through all those processes to replace it is amazing. And this is definitely a must have tool in your bag. Next, we can start an overview of the tool along with a tutorial on how to use it. But before we do so, if so far you're finding this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. Let's get straight into it. In front of us, we have two different types of core removal tools. Essentially, they do the same thing. They're just made by different manufacturers and have a little bit different styling to it, but they're both just as good, and if anyone is interested in purchasing one of these, a link will be in this video's description. For this video, we're going to be going over the Yellow Jacket one, but essentially these all work the same. Let's take a quick look around the tool. Very interesting and nice looking tool for sure. We have a ball valve here. As you can see, we have the handle. This is the part that will get attached to your circuit. They have gaskets inside. We also have a quarter inch port. And what people do typically here is when they're pulling a vacuum, they would put a micron gauge here, which is a pretty good spot. If you can see, if we can unscrew this. We have a core valve removal tool. When everything is attached together, we can pull this in and out. So this part would stay on the fitting and we're gonna work this tool right here so we can pull it out at the same time use this valve and I'm going to demonstrate that right now. In front of us here we have a pigtail. This is an access port that you would find typically on an air conditioning system and inside we have a Schrader valve. This is only a demonstration so this circuit is not pressurized but we're going to pretend that it is and the first thing we're going to do is install the core valve removal tool directly onto the access port. You only want to hand tighten this. Now that we have the tool attached, this valve is going to be open. It is parallel to the tool itself. So what we're going to do is push this piece forward because we want to extend this in here so we can reach the Schrader valve itself. So I'm going to push that. And as you push, you're going to unscrew. see if we can actually get that valve. I think I got it. So what I'm going to do is now pull this back. Close the valve because we don't want any refrigerant escaping and open this. And as we open this, hopefully we have a Schrader valve in there. Sometimes you got to do this a few times. It's not the, the easiest thing. And right there. Now that's a beautiful thing. So now from here, we don't have a Schrader valve in there. So now we can, you know, recover, pull vacuums and do whatever process you want. And it's going to speed up. So we can attach our gauges. Once your gauges are connected, you're going to open back this valve and you can do whatever you like to the system. Now you can recover faster, pull a vacuum faster and so forth. Once you're done with your task, let's say you were recovering or pulling a vacuum, just make sure to close this and then Remove your gauges. 
typically for me, I don't really do this process when I'm recovering or charging. Typically, it's not such a big deal. I don't work on the largest of systems, but when you do, this is definitely gonna come in handy. Typically, I only use this when I find a leaking Schrader valve and I wanna replace it without having to recover, which is absolutely amazing. So right now we have the valve closed. Let's say this is a new pin, new Schrader valve. So what we're gonna do is push that in, go here, close this up. Open this back up because you're not gonna be able to slide back in slide back in and install your valve once again let's see right there it's a snug fit and we're done now we can open this back up and the pin is in there and that ladies and gentlemen is a beautiful thing if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week also, don't forget to share with your friends and colleagues. I'll catch you all next time.